Okay, everybody, Kenneth14621 here, and uh, I'm going to talk about the Jaguars-Cowboys game. Uh, Cowboys look really good. I mean, that's why, you know, this is the same Cowboys team pretty much, almost exactly the same roster with the exception of a couple of guys that went 13-3. and Would have went 14-2, but they didn't play the last game. Uh in 2016 and then with Ezekiel Elliott out for six games they still went nine and seven Tyron Smith had to go out last year <clears throat> that's why I picked this team to win the NFC East believe it or not because I mean we just looked really good you know and uh uh the Eagles I think they won the Super Bowl because they got hot at the right time you know, football isn't like basketball. Basketball are seven-game series. Usually the better team always wins in a seven-game series. Because, you know, you might be able to upset a better team a game or two, but you're not going to do it, you know, four straight times. You know, in a seven-game series, you're not going to do it. You know, so uh, uh, that being said... Uh, the Jaguars are better than us on paper. We've got like the 27th offense. They've got the 25th. We've got – we don't – as far as yards, they have the number one defense. We're like maybe top ten in yards, but we're, we're fifth in scoring. So they should beat us, but uh, they didn't. Uh, you know, I don't expect people who aren't Cowboys fans to realize that we can play like this, but I do because I know my team and I, you know, I, I know their whole roster and I know what they can do if they're playing good. Dak Prescott played really well today. He didn't hardly have any bad throws all game. I mean, that's great. He bounced back. I'm glad that doesn't always happen with quarterbacks. Sometimes quarterbacks go down, you know. Uh, so I'm glad that happened. Uh, Jacksonville, I mean, they had a they they were able to run it a little bit sometimes. Of course, they got stuff sometimes, and you know, uh, I mean, I, how can you say they did very good? They only scored like what seven points. I mean, uh, so I, I just don't know what to say. I did not expect this. I'll tell you this much. I was very worried about today's game. Uh, I knew we could do it. I, If the Cowboys are firing on all cylinders, they can blow teams out. It's these teams with these super efficient quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees and Roethlisberger and Brady that I worry about, you know. Elliott barely had over 100 yards. I mean, he had 100 yards, but took him quite a few carries, I think, and he barely had over 100. But really, the whole story of today was I don't know, man. Dak Prescott and we just we, we kept converting on third down. We had tons of first downs. You know, uh I mean our kicker is looking really good. Thankfully, because he wasn't looking good at first. I didn't think his balls were very wobbly, you know, and they would curve and they'll curve left or right, but they're not doing that anymore, you know, so uh, and Dan Bailey, he missed a few field goals, I think, last week or something like that. He hasn't been looking near as good as he used to. So, you know, give the coaching staff credit, really. You know, we always dog them out, but we were dogging them out about getting rid of Bailey, you know, and it turns out they were right, you know. So give them a little bit of credit. Give them a little bit of credit on, on Van Der Esch. You know, uh, you should have seen the combine, dude. Everybody was – if you ever watched a video of the combine during the Cowboys pick, everybody was running around – Boo, Van Der Esch. We don't like Van Der Esch. Like, literally over 50% of people, you know, and their thumbs down. Well, that shows you what people know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why people listen to experts, not just average everyday people. Van Der Esch wound up being a really good player, you know. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know about really good, but a lot better than we thought, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, Everybody just likes to blame the coaching staff. They don't like to blame the players for anything, but really, it's not always the coaching staff's fault, you know. So, uh, uh, I mean, great win for the Cowboys. That's all I can say. I mean, really, they were firing on all cylinders, man. Every time they needed the first down, they got it. Uh, pretty good play calling, I thought, you know. Uh, 
I'm just waiting to see what all the talking heads are going to say tomorrow. You know, I mean, everybody's, they're putting the Cowboys 23rd on the power ranking lists and stuff like that. You know, like we're not going to do anything and they just don't know what they're talking about. There we go. That's my video. Thank you very much.